This week we're rolling out the SparkFun Pro NRF 52840 Mini. This is a development and breakout board designed for Nordic Semiconductor's NRF 52840, which is designed around an ARM Cortex M4 with an FPU. It's also got one megabyte of flash and 256K of RAM. It offers full Bluetooth 5 support, Bluetooth mesh and thread support, multi-protocol radio, and NFCA tag support. The board itself has a USB serial interface, so you don't need a separate FTDI USB to serial board for programming. The CDC interface also means that the device can be used as a USB mass storage device. It offers UART, I2C, and SPI protocols, along with onboard analog to digital converters, PWM support, and a real-time clock. The board comes pre-programmed with a USB bootloader. You can develop your programs for this board using Arduino, CircuitPython, or even C if you use Nordic's NRF5 SDK. But just for testing, I've put a simple Bluetooth Blink sketch on it. I'm using NRF Connect, which is available for Android, iPhones, or desktop. All I need to do is power up the Pro NRF Mini, and from the list of available devices, connect to the SparkFun NRF52840. Make sure that under Reliable Write, you've clicked on Execute, otherwise you will have issues. Then, from the RX characteristic, you can send a 1 to turn the LED on, and a 0 to turn it off. Basic Bluetooth communication is that easy. With its size, range, and available I.O. pins, the possibilities for the SparkFun Pro NRF 52840 Mini are tremendous, and will only keep growing as we all push a little further and see what we can do with this amazing board. Arduino, CircuitPython, 2840, there's Pro NRF, nope, not Pro, just NRF. 40 Pro Mini. I said Pro two times. I've almost made it through the first sentence. NRF5 SDK. And we'll only keep. keep get, 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 get. Okay. It's in there. It's in there. Just having a little trouble getting out the front of my face. All right. Take one. <laughs>